Nuclear war wouldn't just be another tragedy in the history books. It would end history as we know it, splitting time into everything that came before and the silence that follows. In the worst-case scenario, a large-scale nuclear exchange would create an apocalyptic chain reaction. Fires would rage across entire continents, incinerating tens of thousands of square kilometers. Hundreds of millions could die within hours. But the real nightmare comes after the blasts. Because what follows isn't just radioactive fallout. It's a nuclear winter, a massive disruption of Earth's climate so severe that it could starve billions. It might even destroy our civilization altogether. So how exactly does that happen? And what would a world plunged into nuclear winter actually look like? When fire becomes climate. A nuclear detonation creates something terrifying. A bubble of plasma hotter than the surface of the sun. In an instant, buildings, people, forests, everything within several kilometers are vaporized or set ablaze. Then comes the shockwave, flattening everything in its path. The air itself becomes a weapon, exploding outward and blowing apart entire cities in seconds. This is how you turn cities into furnaces. But the most dangerous effect isn't the explosion, it's the fire. When cities burn, they don't just smolder, they create firestorms, huge, self-sustaining infernos that suck in oxygen and ignite everything around them. The air becomes a tornado of flame. The heat is so intense, it creates its own weather system. Massive towers of smoke and soot rise into the sky, eventually forming something called a pyrocumulonimbus cloud, basically a thunderstorm of fire. These clouds are no ordinary clouds. They can punch into the stratosphere, far above the level where rain clouds form. And that's critical, because in the stratosphere, nothing removes the soot. There is no rain to wash it out. It just sits there, for years. If this happens once, to one city, it's horrific but localized. But in a full-scale war involving hundreds or thousands of nuclear weapons, we'd see hundreds of firestorms. Together, they could loft up to 150 million tons of black carbon soot into the upper atmosphere, enough to create a global shadow. Imagine a skyscraper made of smoke the size of Mount Everest, multiplied a hundred times. That's what would hang over the planet. When the sun stops showing up,